Uh, and it's apropos that I talk about cannabis because this is a show about cannabis. In every episode, we try to at least touch on the subject. Mm-hmm. The last few, uh, we've spoken about it during our clickbait. Today, we wanted our main story to be about it because I've recently learned about you know these disp- like I said, disparaging <laughs> numbers. Yeah, bro. Uh, Eye opening in the cannabis uh, industry, right? So to speak. Now we all know that. Uh, Cannabis is being legalized everywhere. We we talk about it. We know that there's a federal movement to make it legal, mm-hmm. and and we talk about the numbers all the time. It's mm-hmm. a billion dollar industry. Um, the problem is is that predominantly whites are the ones making all the money off of it, mm-hmm. uh, and minorities aren't. The white man uh, and, get and paid so, off and, for all of that. Yeah, and, and and of course we could talk for days about history and statistics, uh, but. You know, I like to keep it on facts. Uh, let me let me talk to you about a particular person or people first. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bernard Noble, uh, right there, the gentleman on your left, uh, the uh, Bernard Noble. This man from Louisiana sat in uh, was sentenced to thirteen years in prison. Okay, uh, in that picture, you see him teamed up with former Yo MTV Raps mm-hmm. host Fab Five Freddy. But anyway, they teamed up. Um, to work with, what was it, Cure Leaf, I think, yeah, on the really? cannabis movement. This man, Bernard Noble, sat in uh, Louisiana jail for the better part of 13 years for possession of 2.8 grams of cannabis. Oh, that's not even a blunt. <laughs> a fat blunt. Two joints. Two like joints. the Bob Marley song. Two, Two joints, joints 13 guys. Years in prison. And 13 years of prison. Are you kidding me? I start my day. <laughs> yeah. I smoke two joints in the morning. I, I mean, smoke two joints at night. I mean, let's, let, I mean, for real. Like, yeah. Think about that. You walk out of the house with that already in your system. Mm-hmm. This man sat in jail for a long ass time uh, for that. And so when he came yeah. out, there's Atrocious. people out there just like us that are trying to make the world a better place uh, and through cannabis. So mm-hmm. anyway... Uh, not for nothing. He was a habitual offender. He got caught with cannabis and cocaine and under the Louisiana law Uh under habitual offenders, they get hit hard, but it is what it is. I mean, most people that smoke weed don't stop even, even though it's made illegal. Um, anyway, so while he sat in jail, over 30 states in the union legalized in some way, shape or form, right? Including, I think, medical in Louisiana. Right. So uh, anyway, the legal cannabis industry now accounts for three hundred twenty one thousand full time jobs. And his company, uh, you know, Cure Leaf, it employs freaking thousands Mm -hmm. um, and and they're out to, you know, create a brand that's going to you know, create even more. Uh, it's called uh, Two Joints. I think I'm a little... Uh, am, am I on the right on the money there? Uh, you can pull that up there. Two Joints. Uh, and so basically that's what it is. Okay. And it's representing, obviously, what he had on him uh, mm-hmm. and what he got arrested for. So Two Joints is the yeah. name of the company that he started. The he, cannabis company. He, and basically it's a 50-50 partnership with Cure Leaf. Okay. Um, and it's him, Be Noble, and Fat Five Freddy... Um, and it's a two joint pre-roll pack. So basically it's that the B noble pack is symbolic oh, of the two joints. I see. Noble possessed when he was arrested back in 2010. So, so the yeah. Uh, and so, you know, uh, the, these guys have spoken in, uh, like music festivals just back here in August in Washington, DC, uh, at the National Cannabis Festival. I, I said music festivals. I meant cannabis festivals. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> just this past August in Washington, D.C., they spoke about the disparity in numbers between, like, uh, you know, the business, mm-hmm. businesses, you know, in, in COVID, during the COVID time, cannabis actually is one of the only businesses that thrive. Look at that. Cannabis added over 77,000 jobs nationwide. Oh, okay. Wow. During... During the whole why wow, everybody else was you losing know, millions of jobs. Yeah, exactly. So um, the problem is, is the jobs that go to the minorities are lower level mm. jobs. So very few applicants um, are well funded, right? Minorities, by the way, and so because of that, they don't meet a lot of the requirements in many of these states to get licenses. Mm-hmm. Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be money loaded. wise connections wise they don't know the people you know mm-hmm. what i mean um so 
excuse me, bourbon here is candy <laughs> smoking. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> what they're trying to do is shed more light on that um, through this project, through spreading awareness, through their website, uh, so that you know people can can see it and, and maybe they can get the government involved or maybe they can get a social movement involved to bring more colored people yeah, we, we, into business. We, um, What's up, everybody? It's your boys Frank the Tank and JB Perez from the Podheads Web Show. Here to remind you to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, hit the alerts button if you want to find out every time we drop some new fire. Yeah, that's right. And we're dropping new videos every day at 420. So if you like what you saw, click here or here for more content from the Podheads.